Hey there, Northern Michigan. Happy Wednesday. Just three games stand between a few Northern Michigan teams at a chance at a state championship in baseball or soft. Now, if you're talking Division IV softball, Central Lake picked up a regional championship last weekend, surrendering just one run over the course of two games on the way to a regional trophy in the trophy case. Standing in their way of a semifinal appearance, pretty good team. They've been in the top ten consistently all year in Division IV, and they were in the semifinals last year. Rogers City. It's going to be a tough out. We'll see what would happen. Start of the fifth, Alexis Carpenter looking good, striking out Cassie Bregge for the Trojans. And uh, she's their ace. She went pretty well for the first few innings. But in the fifth, Lady Huron's already up 2-1, looking for more. Courtney Strike gets one to the outfield. Allows Logan Fleming to score 3-1 to one at that point. Then Sarah Meredith lines one off the Trojan second baseman. Strike would score. Huron's go up 4-1. to one. And great leather shown by Roger City all day to Allie Hines, the second baseman, smacks the ball down. Or Allie Hines, excuse me, the batter, Alexa Quine, smacks the ball down, gets the play over to first to get Hines out. Then shortstop Amy Grolke makes the final out of the ball game to make it official. Hurons are going back for the second straight year to the Division IV State Semis. It's a whole team effort, but uh, they're pushed by the seniors, I think. You know, it's a, well, we've got some great players, and they get along great, and our uh, team has come together so well in the last five weeks. Once the weather broke and got a little nice, we were getting tired of being in the gym. Once the weather broke and we got outside to practice, I think we really improved, and uh, we're excited to be moving on. Here will be moving on and moving up against Fowler in the Division IV semifinal Friday afternoon on the campus of MSU, 5 p.m. First pitch, Glen Lake. Looking to return to reach that. Glenn Lake looking to return to the Division IV baseball semifinals. First, they'd have to get through Norway, tied at two in the second. Norway, bases loaded. Garrett Benetti connects to get one past the first baseman. Two runners would score. The Knights lock it up at two in the third. Laker bats again hot. Austin Oziana, Wizard of Oz, nickname never gets old. Hits one of the outfield. Bases loaded situation out for the Lakers. Travis Moore, what do you got? Unfortunately. Pops this one up. Pitcher Mike Fall for the Knights gets under it. Two outs in the inning now, but just two. There's three outs in an inning. Ben Schweikert knows that better than anybody. Sends the runners home off this shot down the left field line. Epsi, Trevor, Williams, Tristan. Last names and then first if you're keeping score at home. Lakers go on to win 5-2. to two. They move on to Friday's semifinal. We wanted to get back to this place if we could do it. Uh, but when you're in a gym in the wintertime, that's so far down the road. I, I think this time we have a greater sense of calm. Uh, I just, I, I, feel like, uh, I feel like we're more mentally prepared to go down there since we've had the experience already. We're focused this year. Last year we kind of went down there and saw all the big lights and kind of crumble a little bit. And this year that's not going to happen. We're a lot more focused. Lakers are focused and intent on taking on New Lothrop. That'll be a semifinal matchup Friday morning, 11.30 a.m. first pitch. 